By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Someone's in a bit of a mood. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Look, I just asked if Mum was okay. Why are you on my case about it? I have enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. I was playing football with Becky. I, I thought you said you were at detention. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Vivek, leave a message. Just checking in. Hope you're okay. Slight change of plan. I'm heading back over now. Doing back here. Just checking in. Come on, I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? Yeah, don't sweat it. Awesome. The stranger behave himself? Yeah, fine. You heard from Viv? I wonder if he can make Moises too. Dunno. Haven't heard from him in a while. I'll give him a call. Phone not out of battery? What? Oh. Never mind. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. It's nothing. Is it your sister? Are you thick or something? Oh, get the hint. I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. Okay, let's get something straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not gonna be friends at the end of this, so you should be careful about pissing me off right now, unless you wanna see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday.
This doesn't make sense. Your hands have been tied the whole time. You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. So I followed you down here, waited outside to see if you'd come out. Just come over here for a moment and we can sort this out. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. I think the fact that I look exactly like you takes care of that. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30am. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. Right. And if I am, she'd automatically think I'm an imposter. You don't know Amy. Jack loves Amy. I do not. Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30am, run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, 